it's quite likely if you're listening to this that you are either the twin flame runner trying to understand your pain, understand the situation you're in, or you're the twin flame chaser trying to understand why the runner is doing this to you and perhaps extending yourself to understand their pain also because they are part of your soul. So during that separation, your twin flame runner is likely to feel as much pain or more pain than the chaser may feel. And that sounds unlikely. It feels unlikely. When you're angry at your runner, it feels unlikely. However, it is true in so many cases, the twin flame runner is in an incredible amount of pain and understanding why they run and what kind of feelings they're having will really help both of you work through this and towards union. So we've talked before about why the twin flame runner runs and at times that is because they don't understand what's happening to them and how to make it better. They're just not awakened enough or not having grown enough on a spiritual level to make progress on that journey at this time. They're quite likely, very likely in fact, to regret their own limitations when it comes to the journey and their runner status. They're likely to regret the pain they're going through and the pain they're putting their twin flame through. That said, it's all different feelings that can happen around this time. The pain takes all different kinds of forms. Confusion, disorientation, anxiety, pain, loneliness, feeling overwhelmed, feeling tired, physically exhausted from it and not understanding why. So that confusion happens whether your twin flame is awakened and consciously aware of the twin flame status and they're rejecting it, putting it on a hold, or they're entirely unaware and not awakened, they still will feel confusion. If they're not awakened yet, not consciously aware of their status, they're all the more confused. Your twin flame has an instinctive understanding of your presence and energy, which leaves them all the more confused because they can't understand why they're feeling and what they're doing. They can be disoriented because if they're consciously of the aware of your soul bond, they're feeling disoriented because it's a matter of conscious choice, but they're still feeling lost. That bond to you is constantly pulling them towards you, no matter how they're running away. And the runner feels pulled towards chaser. And that's the irony of that whole energy bond. They feel torn all the time. In all the conversations I've had with twin flame runners, the overwhelming language they use is expressing their loneliness, how alone they feel. Even though that separator twin is maybe rejecting for whatever reason or putting on hold for whatever reason the twin flame journey, the energy cord doesn't go in a break. It's a bond of unconditional love and there is a need for both to harmonise and come together. And so that never takes a break. As a result, the running twin feels absolutely as alone as the chaser twin. They may seem to reject the spiritual love connection to the chaser. You feel rejected, but they're not actually able to, to dim that or put it on hold at all. So they're just as lonely as the chaser. So how does anyone feel in the absence of someone they love, whether they like the fact they love them or not? They feel lonely. So the running twin doesn't take a break from their soul's longing from the chaser, doesn't take a break from that need for harmonisation. Their soul never takes a break from the need for you and the need to experience and share that higher dimensional love, which on some level they're conscious of. So while the running twin looks like they're in the rejecting mode, the truth is more along the lines of they're rejecting themselves. And that makes a terrible, painful and lonely phase for both, sadly. The twin flame does the running. They're unlikely to feel terribly overwhelmed, regardless of their particular reasons for rejecting that sacred mission. They will constantly feel that pull towards the destiny and towards you. They constantly feel the pull towards the twin flame. They cannot help it. Yes, the twin flame runner feels regret, almost certainly. They're regretting the fact they're in pain 
and they're not even able to stop that merry-go-round of separation, even though they've started it in some way, whether they understand that or not. And while they're going through the worst of those low frequencies, they are absolutely regretting the fact they're going through it. And they're also regretting hurting you, your their twin flame. The chaser may find it hard to believe that since they might think the runner is being selfish for denying them the fulfilment of the connection. But the twin flame bond is based on that unconditional love, which is deeply rooted in both both of you, in, in the soul of each twin, the same soul. Separation in no way diminishes that bond. Nothing does. And so the separator twin feels that suffering for both of you. And they are going to regret causing it and not being able to stop it. In some cases, that separator twin isn't hitting the brakes and the twin flame bond because they want to choose to. They're simply not yet at the right frequency. And it may be a case of unprocessed karma or shadow work still needs to get done or some stagnation in their own spiritual development. But these things do not feel like a matter of choice hard as it is to hear, what this requires is understanding on both sides of the twin flame equation. Your runner, separator twin flame, may not understand the whole nature of the twin flame relationship or be on a spiritual plane sufficient to cope with the understanding of that. So they're rejecting that for themselves without knowing why. They're in pain. As a Chaser, you are absolutely in pain, feeling rejection, understandably, and understanding that this is not rejecting you. This is rejecting a soul connection on a temporary basis, a soul connection that cannot fully leave, but they may not be able to understand it, not be able to cope with it. So understanding of each other's pain, of the pain of the one soul, is really important at this point. Understanding will take you through that pain towards union. So I am here for you at this painful time. If you would like some more guidance, just click the link below.